welcome to our channel in this session we will discuss the concept of anonymous object okay before going to anonymous object first of all we have to know one point how to initialize or how to declare an object by using class name for example sample is the name of the class sample space s yes. here s yes is an object name of the class is sample observe carefully here we know that s is the name of the object s is the name of the object what do you mean by anonymous object declare an object declare an object declare or initialization without a name declare an object without name that is called anonymous object that is called anonymous object that is the contents of a class is created the contents of a class is created without using the name of the object then how can you call like this you can use simply sample of if you are using like this if you are using like this in this case an object is created but remember the point here the object is created but the object is hidden but the object is hidden what happens whenever we comes out of this statement whenever we comes out of this statement automatically the particular object is destroyed for example see one example suppose within the main main sample s sample s once we comes out of this block once for example you have one two three some three statements once we comes out of this block then only the object s is destroyed then only the object s is destroyed that is the s is local to this one suppose if you are writing like this sample of here observe this is not a constructor this is an object this is another way of creating an object that is an object without a name once we comes out of this statement only that is whenever we are moving to the next statement the object is destroyed automatically why here there is no name here there is no name once we comes out of the statement that particular object is destroyed automatically see a simple example a simple example class a public a of c out constructor so b of i am using a constructor suppose b of or otherwise use destructor same program use constructor and destructor a of c out destructor okay close the class a simple example i am using a constructor and a destructor now create main int main here i am creating anonymous object how to create an anonymous object simply the name of the class with some parenthesis only with some parenthesis so sample of sample of okay sorry here the name of the class is a sorry here the name of the class is a simply a of suppose i am calling one more time a of what happens first time what is the output of this program first whenever you are calling this a of constructor is called automatically so constructor is printed on the screen constructor is printed on the screen next after that we are moving to this line yes 
after this line we are moving to this line previously i said that whenever we comes out of this statement whenever we comes out of this statement the object is the object is destroyed the object is destroyed automatically so whenever we are coming to this statement the object is destroyed that is destructor is called so what is the output destructor you got it now now this statement is executed for this statement again the constructor is printed and once we comes out of this statement the destructor is called so destructor is printed okay observe after comes out of the particular statement the scope of the particular object is destroyed okay this is the example here you can use the parameters also for example int a a small modification int a assume int x a is equal to x you can write two statements a is equal to s here you can pass 5 here you can pass some 6 if the object that is if the constructor contains the parameters no problem we can pass within this parenthesis okay suppose this is a simple example now now move to one more thing for this example this is the answer for example if the main is like this a small a b sorry a small a a small b the same concept here i am creating two objects here also i am creating two objects in the main in the main then what is the output of this one whenever we are creating this object the constructor is called so answer is constructor now after completion we are moving to this line but the scope of the particular object is not destroyed when it is local to this block now object b is called so again the constructor is called once we comes out of the class once we comes out of the class that's what happens for object b a destructor is called for object a a destructor is called that is how the destructors are called in the reverse order first to a then b so destructors are called in first to b then a first to b then a this is anonymous 